Sarah Anchul sur Pure Channel. Merci beaucoup Sarah d'être avec nous. It's a pleasure for us having you for the movie The River Sorrow. Yes, And thank we you. were just saying it seems to be a very intense movie. Uh, starring Ray Liotta, Giselle Fraga, Ving Rames, Christian Slater and of course you. Um, what did seduce you in that scenario and that movie? Well, I've never played a detective in a movie before. I've only I played lawyers and, um, and, and various different roles, but, but never a detective. And the whole idea of, of um, solving crimes and, and um, chasing down a murderer was very exciting very exciting plus working working with these amazing these amazing actors working with ray and with christian and ving um just it's just so much fun a killer is on the loose and i am preparing the way for the coming of the lord and detective jack verdon is caught in his deadly game it looks like sexual assault Killing women from his past. What is it, Jack? Almost 12 years ago, I dated Sarah. What are you saying, Lee? Follow me. God, forgive you, little one. We all must pay. We found her body way up the river. I need your badge and gun. Sexual relations with both these women? That's very exciting, man. Uh, how many women have you been with? Probably close to a hundred. Right, this makes perfect. Certainly. Jesus. We're gonna need a full and complete list. Every woman that I ever slept with. Look, Jack, every woman that you've ever been with is at risk. The killer leaves two very distinct signatures. The victim's wedding ring is placed deep inside the vagina, and post-mortem, a small incision made with a razor-like instrument is carved into the victim's tongue in the shape of a cross. God, what kind of a crazy bastard? This makes me sick. Who the hell were you today, huh? I was with Jenny all day. I didn't do this and you know it. DNA came back, he's clear. This is quite a list, Jack. I gotta go. He killed somebody else. Then go. Tongue carved, fingers busted. Wedding ring missing. There's the appointed time. So what do you mean? What do you mean with this? Baby, it means you gotta carry a gun. Hey, Jack Burton. Ray Liotta. This is impossible. Bing Rames. Giselle Frega. And Christian Slater. There's been six murders. I've got two agents working each one. I know who you are. I don't know what you did to piss this guy off, Jack. Now he's making very bizarre requests. The River Sorrow. Can we say a little bit about the story without revealing all the, the okay. scenario? But it's yeah, basically there's a serial killer that involves personally the detective that is going to work on the case, I suppose. That's oh. right. You don't, you don't want to get too much more detail than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ray Liotta plays a detective, and I play his partner, I play Jenny. And basically, women start um, start dying. And they start dying in kind of a gruesome, gruesome ways, very specifically. And um, it turns out that these women are all linked to Ray Liotta's past. So he has... On, not only to make his inquiry, but also to go back to his past, I, I suppose. Yes. And discover things that he wouldn't like to discover. He, he does a lot of soul searching in the movie. Um, he takes a leave of absence for a period of time um, while they, before they clear him, because at first he's he's the number one suspect. Yeah, the FBI steps in. Um, Christian Slater plays uh, plays the head of the FBI agent, and they they immediately suspect uh, Ray as being the killer. Um, but of course, it's it's too early on in the movie, so you know it's not him. Um, and so then Ving Rames is the police captain. Him and I take over the case, and and we start doing some research. And and um, <clears throat> basically, Ray goes off, and he does a lot of soul searching, and he he has to start remembering um, the women in his past and and the things that he's done, and and what 
what has led to, to this outcome where all these women that he cared about are dying and why. So you were saying to me there's a lot of uh, sex and also religion in, in the motivation, I mean, of, yes. of the murders. Yes, the, the serial killer is motivated by religion. He feels that this is his duty um, to cleanse, to cleanse the women and to punish and this is, it's, it's all very religious based. Um, and he even poses as, as a priest in one of the scenes just before he murders one of the women. Um, and he, it's all very sexually related uh, because, of, because of Ray and his experience with women, but also because of the way that the women are killed. And I'm not going to say any more than that. <laughs> no, 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 not more. Uh, is, it, is it something, this kind of extremism, that um, is something you feel in some part of the uh, United States? Is it a, a theme? The religion extremism that it that it seems to you very not actual but very strong in in, in, United in the States. U.S. Yeah. Do you think that we have more movies over there that have these religious these dark religious themes we, than we you think have, other? Yeah, we don't have many religion. It's very slight in France. There was a very uh, famous movie about priests that were killed in uh, Algeria a uh, uh. few years ago. Beautiful movie, but it's not a theme that is very used in a French movie. And it is sometimes in U.S. movies. So. It is, yeah. I, I actually think um, I think Americans are are very I think they're very curious about this sort of thing. Um, I, it, you do find the theme a lot. I haven't really thought about that, but I, yeah, no. I think I think Americans are attracted attracted to this um, this kind of darkness, and I think they find it they find it very fascinating. Uh, is it also because it's the total opposition in between what religion should be with love and compassion and and murderers? Is, is it those I oppositions that are think, very... I think people see religion in different ways. Of course. Absolutely. Um, no, I agree that it's it, it should it should be all about love. It should, it should be should be all about um, hope and, and faith and believing in something beautiful and but there's there's a lot of darkness in the Bible yeah, too that so makes good characters for the movies mm -hmm. yes. absolutely um, you just wanted to talk a bit more about your career because uh, there is that movie you were in uh, a few movies uh, that you can see and find end games um, lies and illusion mm -hmm. cleaner the it list and before that, you've been modeling a lot. Also. When I was younger, I was modeling. Yeah. It was much easier to start modeling than it was to act. I've always wanted to act. That's what I've always known to do. Um, but when I first started working, um, basically I was taking classes um, all day long as much as I could, and I was modeling quite a bit so that it could help me afford to yeah. pay for my classes. <laughs> you, you had classes both in New York and LA. Is yes. That right? Yes. Yeah. What was the differences? Because you know, I've been living in New York. The guys in New York. They do those um, do schools and they look very into books and stuff like that. Is it a different uh, method in LA and you know? Yeah. I don't necessarily think it's different methods. Um, I think it's I think it's the teachers. Um, I think there's a little bit more of a seriousness to it in New York. Yeah. Definitely, people take it more seriously. Um, in LA, people. Um, People are more, I mean, in general, just, just into having a good time and having fun. So, so the classes have a different feeling, a different energy. Um, but it's, it's about finding the right ones, finding, finding you know, your class um, and sticking with it and, until you're ready to move on. I'm a huge believer in, in study. I'm a huge believer in just in, in that you're never finished learning. Um, I still take classes. I still work with acting coaches. So... Um, I, I think there's something to gain from from almost anybody, and I'm I'm, I'm also really big on just being a student of, of life and just everywhere you go, you're you're learning, you're learning something, you learn and, and especially as an actor, you're learning about you know about the work and, and about characters and, and just just being observant and taking everything in. Oh, it got bright. Yeah, the sun is coming <laughs> back on us. It's coming out. Yeah. Wow. You're a rayon de soleil. Means your sunshine. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you very much. I, I, I don't know when it will be released in France, The River Sorrow, uh, but for sure it's a very intense movie you should go see and an amazing casting. I bet working with those guys... Uh, it was such an incredible experience. I'm so proud of this film. Um, you know, whether anybody loves it or hates it, I, I'm, I'm so happy and so proud and so grateful to be a part of it. What was the relation with the Ray Lutter on, uh, on the set? Cause you, you, you are his partner, uh, mm -hmm. I bet the, the world 
should involve yeah close relation and Right. We well in the movie, um, the characters have been working together for several years. Um, so we were very close, and we knew, you know, we knew a lot about each other. And we depended and relied upon each other. And um, and Ray was very open and very giving as an actor, and, and very intense. So um, you know, he's he's incredible. I mean, from Goodfellas, and he's he's just he's an incredible actor. So so he just demands you to be present, and he, he just raises your game for sure. So that's, yeah, that's for sure. Vink Rames, Ray. Ray Lotta, Giselle Fraga, Kristen Slater, and of course Sarah Ann Schulz in uh, The River Soul. Thank you very much. Thank you. Aww, are your arms tired? <laughs> yeah, sorry.